On the Las Vegas Strip this weekend, audience members watched in horror as a Cirque du Soleil performer fell from the so-called wheel of death. He's in the hospital tonight and just days after the company was hit with fines after another performer fell to her death. There are growing questions about safety tonight and here's ABC's Rena Ninen now. This is Zarkana, one of Cirque du Soleil's acrobatic shows. And this is the wheel of death. 40 feet high, no safety net. On Friday, acrobat Junior Espinoza fell, but he survived. Espinoza's accident comes only days after Nevada regulators fined Cirque du Soleil and MGM $30,000 after an incident four months ago when experienced acrobat Sarah Guio Guiard fell to her death during the show Ka. That was the first time that's ever happened for Cirque du Soleil. This is what the performer sees during the act. While there are no harnesses or safety nets, that doesn't stop them from jumping. The wheel of death has been removed from the show, apparently until Espinoza returns. Performers have in the past defended the show's safety record. We all have huge safety routines we go through, the artists, the riggers, the staff. Um, there's so many safety measures in place. Cirque du Soleil says safety is a top priority. They plan on adding new safety measures. As for Junior Espinoza, friends and family say he's doing well.